Hello everybody, I am Tom and you are watching me play Hollow Knight. Today, we're sitting next to Quirrell in the Lake of Oon. And I have a dash ability, which I got last episode. And with this dash ability, I know for a fact there's a certain, like there's a few places that I can now go that I couldn't go before. Also speedrun strats. I said speedrun strats. Hmm. Oh no, can't do that. Interesting. Oh, I see. That's just the way back up there. Okay. Alright, cool. So that's like completely explored that side path, unless there's something I can do later in the uh, Lake of Oon. What does that sound? That scared me. Unnecessarily scared me because I can kill these guys really easily if I remember correctly. I'm gonna kill him now. Anyway. I went through the effort of doing it twice. Um, Alright, so map-wise, I'm in this room. There's a few more things I wanted to explore. Yep, I don't want to go down there yet. Uh, that's where the caterpillar was. Is this guy here who I want to kill? I had some real trouble killing these guys last episode, but... Ow, shit. Come closer and try and hit me with your sword, goddammit. Apparently I'm still having real trouble killing these guys. Because there's also one down here that I never killed, that there's a shitload of Geo there, so I want to kill these two. I just need to get back into the rhythm of how you kill them. I remember doing a lot of down attacks, but maybe I'm just being too aggressive? Hmm. Follow-up there is really irritating. What I'm going to do is actually going to come down here, because there is a uh, a bench down here, and it's an easy way to heal. Yeah, but last episode we seemed to awaken some ancient evil. That's what it seemed like to me anyway. And it seemed like that uh, woman was trying to stop us from doing it, and thought that we were setting out to do it. Which I don't believe we were, I think we were just... It seems like everything that Hollow Knight does is kind of something he just accidentally stumbles upon doing. See, the double down seems to work a lot of the time. Oh yeah, double down. So they take a lot of kill, a lot of hits to kill, which makes them difficult. There's another one right here. That's a really cool art aesthetic, by the way. I'm gonna steal the money out from under you. Shit. 
My money. I care a lot less about killing him now, it's worth noting. But... I gotta remember that I can dash. I swear I wasn't having as much trouble with these guys previously, but... And that was before I could dash. It should be easier to kill them now. Should be is the operative word, I suppose. Hmm. I'm not very good at judging when they do that second hit. And I guess it seems like they can choose when they want to do it. Like... Like, they have, like, after they do their first slash, they stand still for a bit, and it looks like there's, like, a... a little opportunity there for them to actually choose when they want to actually do... The, whether they want to actually do the second hit or not. Alright, so there's nothing up there. Um... I think I want to go to the right eventually, but I think that means I have to come up Yeah. Yeah. I think this was one of the directions I had to go that I needed that I didn't need the dash, I don't think, but I think it would have come in handy. That works. Um. Ow. That's why it's always good to have at least three health, I suppose. Um, if I can get my ghost's attention, that would be nice. There we go. Follow me up here, ghost. Actually, I didn't get any money from that boss fight, which is interesting. The boss fights usually give me, uh... <laughs> boss fights usually give me money, but that one did not. Go back up to full. Over here, over here. There. Oh, chest. Oh. Fuck. This sucks, by the way. God damn it. This is actually oddly difficult. Oddly difficult to actually uh, defeat. I wonder if there's a better bench for me to sit on. Eh, not really. It's arguable. Alright, we're back. Luckily my ghost was like spawned, whoops, was actually spawned outside that room. So, that made that slightly easier, I suppose. I mean, I'm gonna kill these guys.
became infinitely easier once one was dead. Just want to point that out. Really? I wonder if they respawn. They probably respawn. Maybe I'll get lucky and they don't respawn, but they probably respawn. Alright, and we're back. They don't respawn. Well, that's something at least, I suppose. Shotgun unlocked. <laughs> uh, I can't believe I died twice to them. Whoa. I mean, this seems like a trap. Boulder shell. What is that? Whoops. Protect its bearer with a hard shell while focusing soul. This shell is not indestructible and will shatter if it absorbs too much damage. Hmm. Interesting. So I think what that means is that you get a shield when you're healing? I think that's what that does. I could be wrong, but... It sounds to me that that gives you, like, a, a shield while you're healing. So if you're going, like, uh, well, I don't have enough soul to do it currently, but... Also, it's actually kind of a shit jump. Like, if I'm healing like this, I think it assume... I assume it gives you... Huh. Yeah, not entirely sure, but cool nonetheless. Oh, I don't have a map for this area. Oh yeah, there was nothing up here. That's right. Alright, so I've now fully explored this area, which was one of the areas that I needed to explore. <laughs> Under my belt. So that's nice. With the amount that I've been dying, I think I'm actually coming close to time, but I'm going to keep going a bit longer this episode just because I haven't done anything particularly substantial. I've just been bad at the game, which is why this is a longer episode. <laughs> Um, yeah, I've come back in there, where else do I need to go? All the way down the bottom is where one way I need to go. It's down this way. There was like a, a gauntlet that I remember. Ugh, go away, no one likes you. I'm not going to fight you. Maybe I do need the map rune on. No, I don't. I know where I am. It's fine. <laughs> I was about to say, like... What? Ow, fucking... These guys are assholes. Uh, so I'm in that room there. Um, I don't need to go up to the right. I do need to go down there. So I'm gonna go down this way, sit at this bench. Um, apologies for not having the, um, the compass rune on. It's just that the geo-collecting one is better. But I know when you're not playing a game, it's a lot harder to keep track of where you are on a map. Or at least it is for me. If I'm watching someone let's play something, I don't know where the hell they are in relation to anything. But when I'm playing, I know exactly where I am in this map. So the compass is far less relevant to me, but I could see it being useful for someone watching. Wait, could I not get up here last time? No, I know where that is. It's fine. Yoink, yoink, yoink. Nah, that's too far even for me. So this way is still blocked off. It's good to know. 
Um, the map. So I need you all the way to the left. And down. There was also one other place that I can't exactly remember where it is. I think it's actually just back here. It is just back here, that's good. I hit the jump button there, but it didn't want to jump. Alright, well I'm going to have to heal now. Um... I'm just taking damage for no reason here, but... I called bullshit on that one. Um... Um, going up gets me nothing. Oh, actually, no, going up does get me something. Where I need to go. Yep. Heal up to two makes me feel a lot safer. Oh. Here is where I thought I was. Because this... Yeah, going higher. I don't really want to go higher. I'm just getting soul here so I can, um, heal. That's what I'm doing. But this here was a gauntlet that I needed to dash for. Dying to platforming. Unfortunately, that guy doesn't respawn. These guys do, though, so that's fine. Well, I'll cut here. Alright, we're back. It's the first time I've ever seen my ghost do, like, a... So, never mind. Uh, it looked like my geo counter went up to like a thousand there for a second, and then went back down to five hundred. It was kind of weird. I feel like a jump here is... Yeah, see, there you go. I was correct. That does... is what that does. I equip the other thing, by the way. The... the boulder thing. So when you heal, you get a shield, which is nice. This looks jumpable, but it's... it's a hard jump. No. I can do this now, so I'm going to do this now. We're now over time for my episode, but I think that's fine. Alright, so heal up to two. Alright, so that's back up to full health, and then I can try this again. I think what I'll do is I'll actually uh, cut out the unsuccessful attempts on this. I nearly hit my head on the roof there. I'll cut out my unsuccessful attempts and just leave in the successful run through this gauntlet.
Did it. <laughs> I may not even cut out the unsuccessful attempts because I got it pretty good. Thorns of Agony. <laughs> okay. Uh, whoops, no, not options. Since the pain of its bearer and lashes out at the world around them, when taking damage, sprout thorny vines that damage nearby foot. That's kind of useful for only one. That's actually before boss fights, I may equip that one. Because of the way that these work, like, they're situational a lot of the time. Okay, so I've gone the end of that walkway. Nothing more I can do this way. So th there's only one thing left for me to do. As far as dashes go, and that is this dash here, which I don't know whether I can actually do. To get this thing. It seems like too big of a distance. Maybe I get a double dash later. I don't know. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and heal up at the... Uh, how would you describe it? Bench, I guess. It's a bench. That's what they're called. Um, I'll heal up at the bench and I'm then going to... Go back to Dirtmouth. Um, train station... I think up and then to the left is the quickest way to the trade station, so that's where I'm going to go. I'll actually probably cut this out, but I'm going to go back to Dirtmouth and I want to see if there's anything worth buying. Yep. Alright, so we're back at Dirtmouth. Oh! And I found Zote the Mighty. No, you there, why are you skulking around in the shadows? Yes. Your eyes do not deceive. Your eyes do not deceive you. I am Zip the Mighty, a knight of great renown. Tremble before me. Why were you? While you were hiding there in your dingy little village, I ventured into the dark pit below, uh, below us, and saw a great beast. It had sharp mandibles and atrocious manners. Yes, yes, all the glory to me. But I don't have time for your admiration. I must rest and prepare for my next journey down. So it seems like he doesn't actually even remember us. That daft old fellow over there, he keeps talking absolute drivel. Seems to think the very air is deadly down in the caverns. Perhaps he should consider not breathing. He keeps talking about dreams, too. Pah! Dreams are for those too feeble to truly live. Hm. <laughs> what a squalid little hamlet this is. The air is foul and the townsfolk have beady eyes. I'll be ready, but I'll be heading back down below as soon as possible. Yeah, okay. So we found Zote the Mighty again, which... Hello. Serema. Tiso. Pale thing. You wear that nail with ease. If you're in search of combat, you'll find no great warrior in its decaying burrow. I've heard an arena exists somewhere below. One built for our like. Meet me there and I'll test what skills you possess. I'll be heading down soon. Come and find me if you dare. Caseto Gueno. Hallowness. What challenges await in this ruin? In its ruin, I should say. Cassetto Gueno. Cassetto Gueno. Hmm, fair enough. So I'm glad I came back here because now I've got. Got some more NPCs that I've spoken to. It seems Zote doesn't remember us in the slightest, which is kind of funny. I don't think she has anything new, but I'm going to check. <sighs> she does. Token marker. These markers are new additions to the shop. You can use them to mark interesting spots on your map. This understated color makes me think of hunting underground for adventure. And this one, gleaming marker. These markers are new additions to the shop. The material I use for this color is quite rare, so it costs a little more. I'm going to buy both these. Um, I said my next purchase was going to be the lantern, but 1800 seems like such a, a huge amount <gasps> to get. Uh, yep, okay. 1800 is just such an enormous amount to get that, like, it's daunting me, I'll be honest. Thanks, Lai. Um, I'll buy this for completionist's sake, and I have 200. So it's a good way of me, like, banking my money. 
So in total, how much do I need? Lots is the answer. 2,750. Well. So this, I'm sure, this simple key opens the simple lock all the way to the right that we just saw in like the, uh, what would you call it? Graveyard area? So I think I will buy that next and then I'll buy this for 1800. But that's going to be it for today. So thanks for watching and I shall see you next time where I don't really know where we're going to go. Uh, how do I see the map proper? Yeah. Oh, here we go. I can actually zoom in on here. So that's good. Um, there's a couple of places down in the green path that we can still explore. So I might go do that. Elsewise, actually there's a place in the Forgotten Crossroads I can do as well. So from memory, there's actually a few places I can go now that I have dash, essentially. Um, this is how I place markers. Oh, and I have six each of these now, so I can place these however I wish. This is actually kind of useful because I can now show you where I'm going to go. Here was a place that I could go now that I have dash that I couldn't go before. In fact, I might as well mark these for myself. Um, up here, I believe, either here or here, one of the two, I can't remember which, I'll just put it in the middle, was dark. I think it was, the bottom one was dark and the top one I think I needed dash. Uh, this over here was all blocked off so I couldn't get to that. And then there were uh, these two here as well. And these... The bottom path, not so much. I don't really care about the bottom path. Because that takes me to a new area. That took me to, I can't remember what it was called, but it had bubbles everywhere. But this path here was another one that I think I needed dash to get to. But aside from that, I think I've explored the green path pretty thoroughly. This path here takes you back to, um... It's where the... Oh... I think I need a new map for this path up here. Because I did go through this door, but... Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. I shall see you next time. Bye.